Hello and welcome to this episode of Creating with Hellcraft. My name is Denise Yazbak Moore and today I'm going to be showing you how to create my Heart of Stone bracelet. Chunky big bracelets are trending right now and if you haven't tried to create one, this is the perfect project. The tools and supplies you will need to create this bracelet are wire cutters, round nose pliers, and two chain nose pliers. You will need eye pins, head pins, an assortment of bead gallery beads by Howcraft Collection, and a tassel four millimeter jump rings, an eight millimeter jump ring, and a lobster clasp. A complete list of the jewelry making supplies and beads along with printable PDF instructions can be found at howcraftcollection.com. Search Heart of Stone Bracelet. The technique we will be learning today is how to form a simple loop. This bracelet is created using simple loops. So we're picking up an eye pin, and this is a 20 millimeter faceted black obsidian stone bead. And we're just gonna string that bead. And we're gonna bend the wire down. Then using our wire cutters, we're going to trim that end and we are going to form our first simple loop. So we are just rolling the wire towards us. And then I'm just going to bring that in and the loops are facing the right side. So we'll set that down. We are going to grab an Amazonite wavy diamond. We're going to string that diamond and the loop is facing this side. So I'm going to bend it towards the same side. And I'm going to flip it around, come back in, trim that little end. And now we are going to form our simple loop by rolling the wire towards us. I'm going to grab my chain nose pliers. I'm going to open that end. Attach the first bead. And close the end. Picking up our next bead, we are going to pick up our eye pin and we're going to string our eye pin. Okay, that eye pin is a little bit too small, so I'm going to show you a trick. We're just going to flip it to the other side and that hole is perfect. And on this side, we're just going to make our simple loop a tad bit bigger. So we bent the wire down and then let's turn it cut that little end off and we are going to form our simple loop and we're just making it a little bit bigger if you move your pliers here your loops will be small if you start here your loops will be large so I'm gonna go right about there and then I'm just rolling the wire towards me and I'm going to turn it and now that fits perfect perfectly so let's open let's open this end flip it around Open the end, grab our 
other one. And then we're gonna come in and close that end. So we have one more. So let's look at the holes. I'm gonna go on this side. So we're just bending the wire down. And then we're gonna come back over. Trim that little end. Grabbing our round nose pliers. We are just gonna form a simple loop by rolling the wire towards us. The loops are facing the same side. We're gonna come back in, open the loop, attach it to the previous loop, and close that loop. And now our bracelet is starting to form. So we're picking up another eye pin and we're gonna grab our rectangle agate. This one has a little bit of um, green in it. And we're just gonna string that and bend the wire down. Grab our wire cutters. Trim that little end. And now we're grabbing our round nose pliers and we're gonna form our simple loop. We're just rolling the wire towards us. And our loops are facing the correct way. We're gonna open that loop. Come back over, attach the end of the bracelet and close, let's, let's get that a little bit more close. Close the loop. So we have one more, we had one more bead and this is the carved black obsidian oval. So we're gonna pick up our eye pin. We're gonna string the end Bend the wire down. Trim that little end. Grab our round nose pliers. And we are just gonna roll the wire towards us. We're gonna open that end. Attach the bracelet and close the end. Let's attach our jump rings and clasps. So we're grabbing an eight millimeter jump ring. This is how you open and close a jump ring. You never pull it apart. We're gonna open that. We're gonna attach it, come back over and close the jump ring. Now we're gonna attach our lobster clasp to the other end. Let's grab that. We're gonna open it. Grab our lobster clasp. Come over to the end and we are just going to close that loop or the jump ring. Now we're gonna attach our tassel. I picked up a four millimeter jump ring and I just opened it. We're gonna come right over here to this other four millimeter jump ring. I'm gonna come over and we are just gonna close that jump ring. Next, we're gonna make our little dangles. Dangles are made with head pins. This is a beaded head pin. It has a little bead at the end. So we're going to pick up our crystal quartz heart. And you don't wanna bend it this way. 
because of the little groove right there. So we're gonna bend it down this way. We're gonna grab our wire cutters. Trim that little end. Grab our round nose pliers. And once again, we're just gonna form a simple loop. So we are just rolling the wire towards us. So there's our first dangle. Now we are going to string a green agate rondelle. And we're bending that wire down. We're coming in. Trimming that little end. Grabbing our round nose pliers. We're just rolling the wire towards us. Sometimes if it's not all the way closed, you can come in and just bend it a little bit. And now we're grabbing another head pin. And these are little faceted glass, eight millimeter beads. And I'm just bending the wire down, trimming the end, grabbing my round nose pliers. I'm just rolling the wire towards me. Let's set that one down. We have one more. So the eight millimeter black glass faceted. Bend that wire down. Trim that end. Round nose pliers. We're just rolling the wire towards us. Now we are gonna um, connect all of the dangles. So I'm connecting the dangles with a four millimeter jump ring. I find that you get better movement if you use a jump ring. You can just attach them by the loops. It's a designer preference. So I'm just gonna come over, open that jump ring attach it and then we're attaching it to the eight millimeter jump ring come back over close that jump ring now we're going to pick up another four millimeter jump ring open that jump ring grab our little glass put it on one side, come back over, close that jump ring, four millimeter jump ring. Once again, this is how you open and close the jump ring. We're gonna grab the other black glass. We're gonna put that on the other side of the heart we we'll come back over and close that jump ring and we have one more dangle the green agate rondelle oops we're gonna open that jump ring We're gonna put this one on the four millimeter jump ring too. So there we attached it. Come back over and close that jump ring. And there you have it, how to create my heart of stone bracelet. Uh, the simple Looping technique can be used on smaller beads if you would like to create a smaller bracelet. If you are watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe at Howcraft USA. 
Follow us on Instagram at Howcraft Collection Beads. Be sure to visit howcraftcollection.com for more inspirational DIY projects and all your jewelry making needs. Each week, howcraftcollection.com adds new beads to the website and it features an amazing new sale. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.